So welcome back to Sim Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel today. So today we'll be making a tube top. Okay, so you can see the tube top on the thumbnail right there. That is exactly what we are making today. So you can see every drafting must start from our basic bodies, which you have seen me. Uh, drawn my basic bodies right now so that means before you can follow up this tutorial you need to watch the video on how to make a perfect basic bodies on this channel okay all right so i have my shoulder line where all measurements are taken from and i have my chest line this is my chest line and this is my bust position my under bust position and this is my waistline so you should be familiar with all these vertical lines as well as as well as well as its horizontal line before we begin so i've done the necessary things we, we usually do first that is dividing the shoulder by two the midpoint of the shoulder seam line you draw a line connecting to the bust point and again the difference between the bust point and the under bust you take it around okay to form your bust radius so that is going to serve as a guide for us and that is why we do that so now to begin this tutorial the first thing we want to do is to create the neckline so the neckline of this um, uh, tube dress i would like it to run from the uh, from the chest line okay or maybe one inch above the chest line and connected to the mid armhole line okay so that is how and, uh, the neckline of this bust here uh, this tube dress exactly the way it is on the thumbnail so if you want to follow what we have on the thumbnail this is what we are going to do i'm going to take this neckline all the way from the chest line if you want to go by what we have on the thumbnail so you can see what i have right here up to the mid armhole line and i'm going to recreate my my i'm going to recreate my armhole line exactly the way it is on this thumbnail that is what we have so you need to recreate it like this so right now we want to contour what we have on the uh, upper bust so to contour what we have on the upper bust simply from this line that crosses the neckline you go in by 0 0.75 okay so i'm trying to get my 0 0.75 accurately and this is my 0 0.75 so now i'm going to connect what i have there to the bus points and i'll flip my ruler like this i'm also going to connect to the bus point so that means we are cutting off everything we have right here okay so that is it and coming to the under bust uh, tightening I'm going to tighten my under bust from the center front. My under bust divide by four. Whatever I have, okay. I'll what is remaining here. I'll add 0 0.25, and the rest I'll add it over here. So if you have been following Sim Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel every day, you'll be familiar with what we are doing right here. So that means you need to watch other videos before this if you don't understand how these lines are being contoured. So I will connect back. Okay, so it's a normal thing you, you are aware of right now. So this is my dart and I'm going to cut. Alright, so I have my tube F1 and my tube F2. So there's something I want to also bring to your notice. I want to bring to your notice that what we have right here, okay, uh, on the dart, this part definitely will be shorter. It will be shorter than this. So 
we'll be kissing what we have on the center front if you see it you can see it's shorter so i'm folding these darts i'm taking this dart on the back line to kiss this dart line so if you look at this you can see it's already short can you see is already short so this is how i'm going to do that because we have the shortage already you can see that so to avoid this shortage from occurring you close up that that so make sure you close it up nicely before you cut so i'm going to reblend you can see what i'm reblending aligning my ruler the same way i placed it before from this point to this point to blend back so these are the shortage i'll just dot it so you see what we could have had as a shortage can you see so now i'm going to extend the line on my dots so when i'm cutting now i will cut this up to this point okay so that is what you expected to have so what we are drafting is the front bodies. Like I always say, the back bodies does not have any problem. All you need to do is to draft your normal back bodies, which you know how. And then you sew your tube accordingly. Okay. So for the replacement of that, there is no replacement of that right here. Because what we have right here on the tube is like making... Um, an off shoulder i think i've explained it in the other tutorials so please you need to go back and watch the other videos we've made before so you understand what we are actually doing here so what i'm doing here now is to cut out my tube i'm cutting out my tube as you can see that is the F1. That is what I've cut right now. I'll cut it out on the waistline. Then I want to uh, close my buzz dart immediately. This is my buzz dart. And I'm closing it up. As you can see by applying my adhesive. So once I lift it up right now, it closes up for me accordingly. Can you see? So that is what you have on your tube for F1. So coming over to the F2, number 2, that is the center front area. I want you to note that this is the center front area and it's going to be cut on fold. You can see my fold sign right there. So I will just cut this part. And I'm going to cut the new neckline. Please make sure you cut on the new neckline. Then I'm cutting my darts. I want you to take note of where I'm cutting my darts. And that is why I love to cut my patterns on camera. Alright, so I've taken away the darts. So you can see the accommodation of the uh, the bust accommodation right now so once you match up bust point and you sew can you see everything matches up nice and flat for you still having maintaining the u neckline and goes into the armhole so that is what you need for this particular drafting so you can go ahead right now to do whatever thing you want to do with your pattern if you want to pad it you go ahead and give it a good padding, sew them together, draft your back, and we are good to go. So this is how we come to the end of this tutorial. I believe you learned a lot from this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each day. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So thank you for coming and for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!